Hello guys, it is, oops, don't want that clanging around. It is Wednesday, it is sunny out, and it is NaNoWriMo, Camp NaNoWriMo. What's not to love? So I had a fun morning. I ended up reading pretty late into the night. I mean, I had to, there was a lot going on. And I had forgotten that when I read, and this is probably cause I didn't have my glasses, I get a massive headache if I read for longer than, I'd say four hours straight, maybe three hours straight, I start to get a headache. Yeah, so that happened. And the horrible part about my headaches is they're not just quick little headaches, they last like 12 hours long. So I'd gone to bed and I woke up and I still had an awful headache that lasted well into the morning and it's still lingering-ish, but it's so much better. And yes, I've taken pain meds, mom, get off my back. But that aside, that's my horrible excuse for saying I did not get anything done yesterday. <laughs> However, it is almost the weekend. And the big thing about this weekend actually is that Zach's not gonna be here. He's gonna be busy with work and so I'm gonna have a lot more free time this week. Or next week, I should say. And I wanted to just jump on here really quick because I had a bit of a revelation yesterday and I didn't get a chance to talk about it and I've been thinking about it more today and I feel even more strongly today. But I'm gonna try and make this quick. I'm gonna fail. As I mentioned, I had kind of a rough year last year. I didn't talk about the hard parts too much in my videos just cause otherwise, you know, no one wants to watch a Debbie Downer channel for a year. <laughs> it's not very fun. Um, and these videos are the light of my life, or a light of my life. And so filming them, I was always happier than other parts going on with me. <laughs> um, and part of that was from feeling pretty inadequate in the career department. I kind of talked about this a little bit, but basically I ended up applying for jobs for a lot longer than I expected. I think I applied to over 80 jobs maybe more than that, 85, I don't even remember. I've written them all down. I would keep a list of when I would hear back or usually I wouldn't hear back. And I have to say that going through that is, humbling is one word for it, but honestly, it was almost, is soul crushing too strong of a word? I don't think it is. <laughs> Basically, it was a huge confidence shot. And um, I've always been somebody who has had a lot of faith in myself. And so this just kind of ties in what I was talking about last week. And before, you know, I was thinking, why did I lose this faith in myself? You know, I, when I was younger, I was so confident, like, in my abilities, in my writing even. And when I, before I even wanted to be a writer, I always knew about myself. Well, I know I'm a good writer. Like, I didn't know it's what I wanted to do for a career, but it was just always something about myself. And, um... And I just had a lot of faith in my future. And then going through that last year was a big hit, I think, in my beliefs in myself. And even though now I'm in an, an amazing place and it was all worth it in the end and if I had gotten any of those jobs I didn't even really want, I wouldn't have ended up with this amazing job, blah, blah, blah. However, even when you get something like that, I definitely had and maybe even still do have, it's what I'm working on, um, a serious case of imposter syndrome where I felt like, oh my God, this is what I've been wanting, but do I deserve this? Like, I feel like I was hired by mistake. Like, <laughs> they're gonna figure it out. No, I, I don't think that anymore. Um, but, and I didn't think that outwardly or heavily, but in the back of my mind, having had such a confidence shake, it was there. And I think, you know, I told myself all last year and really even into 2016, you know, I need to start being more realistic. I need to be realistic about my goals. I need to plan everything out. I need to be realistic about my expectations, what I can and can't do, my weaknesses. And this might be horrible advice, but I just realized I used to dream so big. Like, I would be convinced 
that I was going to be a New York Times bestseller. And I've even said in these videos, like, oh, I don't need to sell millions. I just want to make it. Yeah, you know, I just want to sustain myself. And I, that's me trying to just be realistic because in my head, I'm like, well, I know I can't be any Stephen King or J.K. Rowling, but I think I can at least make it a full-time job. And that mentality, maybe to some people, is wise and is a good mentality to adopt into adulthood. But man, it has been so toxic to my mental state. It is the reason I haven't been able to write because I feel like, I don't know, I just, I've had this weird block all Camp NaNoWriMo and as much as I am trying to push through it and as much as I'm trying to work on my writing for an hour every day, I just end up sitting there like working on other things, planning, but I just can't write. Like I didn't know what was wrong with me and I realized as I talked about in last week's video, I have lost a real sense of faith in my abilities, in myself, all in the guise of being realistic. One of my favorite videos in this whole wide world, and I will link it below, is when Will Smith talks about being realistic and basically how he doesn't believe in it. <laughs> like I said, there's going to be people out there who are going to hear me say this and they're going to be like, this is horrible advice, don't listen to her. But that's the thing. There's going to be loads of advice, wanted or unwanted, in your life that are going to be realistic and are going to lay out how to do things and have realistic goals. But that's not me. <laughs> I don't want to be that person. I think we need people like that. Life's all about balance, but that's not me. I am not happy when I am thinking, you know what, I should just settle with what I have. This is fine. And that's not to say I'm not happy with what I have, but that mentality of settling, that's just, that's not my style. I can't do it anymore. And I've been doing it for, I think, probably a couple years now, maybe longer. You know, something happens when you start to go for your goals. It does become real. And I think it has a danger, therefore, of seeming just like a checklist you can check off and meet goals and plan meticulously. And there's a formula. But God, we're writers. This is art. It's not a formula. Like, and life. Life is not a formula. I don't, I'm starting to ramble. I'm starting to, basically the summary of my revelation, I am done with being realistic. There are going to be so many people in my life, I am sure, and I know for a fact because I have met them and I know them, who are more than happy to bring me crashing down to earth and be realistic and give me opinions about my how my dreams are too big how my goals are too big why would you then be that for yourself too you know out of everyone in this world i should be the person who believes in myself the most i am the advocate for myself no one is going to advocate for you as much as you are going to do yourself so if you limit yourself in any way the world is only going to respond by being a step below that but if you're limitless if you just think you are the best thing since sliced bread and your opportunities are limitless well then who's gonna set the limit for how other people view you and that's not to say be egotistical but i'm just saying as far as where your boundaries are with your goals so those are my thoughts <laughs> um you know will smith says being realistic is the most common path to mediocrity yeah because if you think about what realistic means it means what's already real what's already been happening what's already possible so if you are just traveling the path of what's realistic, you are only going to be a copy, a repeat of what's already been done. That's like, why would you want to do that? <laughs> Don't do, <laughs> you know, I'm not interested in what's already been done. I think that some things of life are great that have already been done. For example, I'm not going to get creative with how I do my taxes. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to make up a new chocolate chip cookie recipe when Nestle nailed it. But when it comes to my art, when it comes to my craft, when it comes to my dreams for myself and my future and my family's future, I'm not interested in what people have already done. I'm interested in what hasn't happened yet, what hasn't been possible yet, what hasn't been imagined yet. So yeah, <laughs> that's 
my thought on that and this is kind of long as I knew it would be so I might just upload this as a separate video instead of putting this in my <coughs> putting this in my vlog so I'm done I'm done being realistic I'm done comparing myself constantly to others as if I am nothing more than a second rate copy of them you know, the whole idea with art is creation and writing is art and I want to create something new. And of course, it's always going to have similar elements to other stories. Just like my life will have similar elements to other stories. You know, I'm engaged, I'm getting married. How long has that tradition been going on? But why limit yourself with only ever following a path someone else has already followed? I think some paths are good to follow. Like I said, learning from others is great, but don't let those boundaries stop you from wanting more, for dreaming of more. Anyway, go watch Will Smith's video. He summarizes it beautifully and concisely, a skill I yet to have. Concise is not my nature yet. <laughs> I'll work on it. But yeah, I am gonna be an author. I am gonna be published and my story is gonna be great. Just like all the other stories I'm going to write are going to be great and I'm going to live an amazing life. And I, for the first time in a really long time, fully and completely believe it. And I'm so excited to share it with you guys and um, have you guys watch it. <laughs> Alright, that's it for today. I have to go order Applebee's. Zach and I are having Applebee's cars I to go for dinner. What's more amazing than that? Probably a lot of things actually, but they have an amazing chocolate meltdown, so I'm not complaining. Okay, bye. <laughs>